Hello, uh, welcome to Google Summer of uh, Code uh, Office Hours. Um, yeah, uh, we present the Jenkins organization, and today we talk specific about uh, any questions related uh, to uh, Google Summer of Code and Jenkins and Jenkins X projects. And thanks uh, to everyone uh, who joined the call. Again, I don't have specific agenda for today. Uh, so, Mark, do you? Well, so I had I had one that I'd given more thought to. You had suggested in last week's session that one of the I ideas I had might be a good quick start topic, and I'm not sure if any of the the students that are interested are are curious about possible quick start projects that they might test drive. If so, that that for me would be an interesting one. The the is is this a place where it would be okay to talk about possible quick start things okay. to give people give candidates an opportunity to experiment with something yeah uh, that's for sure so how we usually do it uh, in project ideas we have a quick start guidelines which are embedded into the project ideas uh, at least common here so and yeah, one of the options uh, would be to just uh, put uh, your quick start ideas there, you, especially okay. the specific to your project. If you which which they are, and that's this yeah. would be a that, that's a good pointer. So in my case, what I should do is I've got a, a larger idea, start the draft of that, and in the quick start section for that larger mm -hmm. idea, it's still a draft. It's not it's not ready for publishing yet on the page. But there, I put the quick start in there, and the quick start idea just becomes a, a sub item underneath the project idea. Good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So this is the best way. Moreover, it's uh, required for published project ideas. Okay. Any other questions, comments on uh, quick start? Uh, in the previous uh, meetings, uh, there were a lot of questions there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there is also a uh, self introduction from Sadat in the chat. So, yeah, thanks for your interest. Uh, thanks for joining the call. And since there is no other questions, comments, let's just proceed with uh, Kone. So we have uh, three students on the call today. Uh, do you have any new questions or do you need any clarification? So could I rephrase Sagar's comment as a question? Um, uh, Sagar, are you really asking how do I get started or what are some guidelines on ways to get started? Or is am I mis misinterpreting your, your message in chat? Mm, yeah. So tech stack, uh, I, uh, yeah, by the way, you can just unmute yourself and ask uh, the question. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a public forum. Um, yeah, so the question is how to get uh, started. And for that, um, we have some guidelines published in our documentation. So if you go to GSOC, uh, there is a student guide. So student guide, uh, Uh, so information application uh, guidelines for students and there is also um, uh, some uh, information about uh, how to um, apply how to uh, get started but yeah this is actually a good question maybe we need another guide which just focuses on how to get started for students because yeah, we discussed multiple times, but we don't have uh, this guide explicitly on the uh, page. So maybe I should add additional documentation to here. Okay. So again, I will just uh, pass to what we discussed at the last meetings. Um, if you want to get started, uh, the best start is to just take a look at the project ideas and to explore the Jenkins and to say that. So you can, for example, if you want to work on plugin management, uh, it would be a good opportunity to uh, just um, explore this tool, uh, try it out. Uh, most likely you will experience a lot of uh, different uh, issues because yeah, documentation could be improved. Uh, also, 
CLI could be improved. And if you see these issues, submitting feedback and submitting short uh, fixes is uh, the best way to start. And you can uh, try to together with Jenkins and then uh, um, uh, study Jenkins uh, uh, UPEC. For example, uh, Sagar asked uh, about Android development spec. We have uh, quite a number of uh, plugins for Android, uh, including Android Link uh, and uh, other builder plugins. So you can just uh, try them out. Uh, so take uh, Jenkins, uh, install uh, all plugins you need, configure them, and try automating your project with Jenkins. Uh, it would be a good introduction to the tool and uh, it, it, and there also a good opportunity for you to get started, for example, with this project because you definitely need to manage plugins and you can uh, um, export it from there. Or maybe you want to trigger this plugin from test API in order to automate your pipeline. Then again, you can uh, just go to the specification generator and under bits and see what test APIs could be needed to implement this use case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, my action item I will take that is to actually just uh, getting started, please. Or maybe somebody else uh, wants to edit. So, yeah, and, and that's thinking about that getting started page is that's different than the, the participate page for code, or is it? Is it some derivative of that, Oleg? I'm trying to envision. I think it's a, a derivative of that because okay. it should basically guide students how to get started with GSOC. Obviously, we need a reference to uh, main participate guide. We need to encourage students to just try contributing somewhere or to explore the projects, but I think that it should be a different snapshot. Okay, so, so it's it's not it's not it it. it because of the specific nature of Google Summer of Code, it needs to be uh, more than just, here's the participate page. Makes sense. Thanks. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I will definitely create something. Yeah, just looking at the item below, uh, I will add uh, action item the top to the common agenda. Okay. Mm. So, are there any other questions? Uh, can I know that uh, by whom our proposals will be evaluated? I mean, uh, by you, uh, your organization or by Google? Um, actually both, uh, but uh, commonly um, the distribution that Google focuses uh, on eligibility chat uh, so that they can ensure that you can participate in the project uh, um, and uh, projects uh, focus on the technical part. So as a project, we review the most of the proposal, including uh, uh, specific timeline, it's also our responsibility to double check your availability when it comes to other commitments, because again, Google handles formal part and we handle the project part. Uh, usually when we do reviews for the proposals, the most of the reviews happen during the application phase because we expect uh, students uh, to submit proposal drafts earlier so that uh, they could uh, get peer feedback. And it means that uh, basically any Jenkins contributor uh, or for example, any other interested student, uh, anybody can provide feedback and you will see who provides this feedback. And this is uh, the key review part. After that, uh, yeah, there are additional reviews uh, happening uh, after the end of the application. Uh, a date. Usually it's uh, Orca means we refined that uh, you have explicit answers about uh, uh, availability, etc. Or again, Orca means and mentors ranking the projects. Uh, but yeah, our experience is that um, 
potential mentors uh, already built their opinion uh, during the application phase. So there are, it's rare that you just start reviewing the proposal uh, in private after you submit uh, the application. Yeah, then it is better to uh, send a draft proposal earlier, right? Yes. Uh, when should we present that? When should we send a draft proposal? Well, when you are ready. Uh, there is no specific uh, timeline. So on the Google Summer of Code, you can find uh, uh, that uh, there is um, applications open. So uh, the application period begins on March uh, uh, 29th. Uh, so what it means that starting from this day, uh, you can submit your application uh, draft uh, to Google. Um, but uh, for us, uh, this date doesn't really matter because uh, for us, you can submit the application draft uh, once you're ready. It can be reviewed. And what matters is uh, this deadline. Uh, is that you should uh, submit a public, uh, final uh, application before this deadline. Uh, okay, thank you. If you have a proposal now, you can already start discussing it in the mailing list. So, yeah, there is a lot of things uh, uh, to review, and uh, yeah, there might be changes in the project release uh, by the beginning of JSOC. So definitely, there will be more project ideas. Uh, but, yeah, nothing blocks you from creating a proposal draft even now. Um, my co um, I have one question. Um, so, is it possible that we can contribute earlier than GSOC if we have the right skill set to get started? So you ask whether you can uh, contribute uh, before GSOC? Yes, you can. You can contribute basically. Uh, well, the Jenkins uh, is an open source project. So everything is open. Uh, you have uh, participation guidance available, for example, here, where you can find a lot of different domains where you can contribute. And uh, as a student, uh, you are totally invited to contribute at any moment when you're interested. And doing some contributions is, of course, a good opportunity to get introduced to the project and uh, to explore the uh, code base. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, there is a lot of components. So since you're asking about Android, you can just uh, uh, go and search for Android plugins. And yeah, you can see that uh, there are 23 plugins which explicitly reference Android. Uh, so yeah, and I believe that uh, some of these plugins can definitely benefit from contributions and patches. Just take a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thank you. To, to further support Oleg's comment on encouraging students to contribute early, it helps build your skills, it helps build your association with the community, and it helps others as they see your involvement. So yeah, and, and it helps the project. Please, yes, contribute. Mm -hmm. okay. So, are there any other questions? Okay, then, yeah, probably we can. Uh, Take some break um, and uh, just pick up some action items so that we don't miss them. Um, yeah, we still need to uh, meet with CDF next week. Yeah, other action items is to actually uh, uh, send a call for participation. I've written a draft, but unfortunately, I didn't send it. So I will do it. What else do we have on the list? 
Там, там. Да, там Я матка хотя начинает им тачить с одним из позже пойдем. Си Оливье он докол. Оливье, did you have any questions or ideas about the JSOC? And that's sorry, I'm just listening. Um, uh -huh. That's fine. So I guess if there is no other questions, uh, that's all for today. Uh, but, uh, if you have uh, any questions, we still have um, time. Okay, then uh, no questions. Um, see you all uh, next week. Uh, we will do the meeting. Um, Using uh, common time, and yeah, if you're interested about participating in Jenkins, uh, we have uh, one friendly program, uh, Google Season of Dogs. This was a program which ended uh, just uh, last week, and uh, uh, our mentor will be doing uh, Jenkins Online Meetup uh, today. So if you're interested, you can just uh, join this Jenkins Online Meetup and uh, get some insights about uh, how. Uh, the project went in the community and maybe it will provide you some additional information. So, well, uh, thanks everyone. And see you later.